everyone, welcome to Molly's Story Time. Today's story is Curious George and the Firefighters by Margaret and H. A. Rays. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today George and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, joined Mrs. Grey and her class on their field trip to the fire station. The fire chief was waiting for them right next to a big red fire engine. Welcome, he said, and he led everyone upstairs to begin their tour. There was a kitchen with a big table and there were snacks for everyone. The fire chief told them all about being a firefighter. George tried hard to pay attention, but there were so many things for a little monkey to explore. Like that shiny brass pole in the corner. Where did that pole go? George was curious. Why, it went back downstairs. There was the great big fire engine. There was a map of the city and there was a whole wall full of coats and hats and big black boots. George had an idea. First he stepped onto a pair of boots. Next he picked out a helmet. And finally George put on a jacket. He was a firefighter. Suddenly, bring! The firefighters all rushed in. This is not my helmet, said one. My boots are too big, said another. Hurry, hurry, called the fire chief. A bright red light on the map of the city told him just where the fire was. There was no time to waste. One by one, the firefighters jumped into the fire engine, and so did George. The fire engine with all the firefighters sped out of the fire station, and so did George. The sirens screamed and the lights flashed. The engine turned right, then it turned left. Woo! went the horn, and George held on tight. And just like that, the fire engine and all the firefighters pulled up to a pizza parlour on Main Street. Smoke was coming out of the window in the back and a crowd was gathering in the street. Thank goodness you're here, cried the cook. The firefighters rushed off the truck and started unwinding their roses. They knew just what to do. And George was ready to help. He climbed up on the hose room. One of the firefighters saw George trying to help and he took George by the arm and led him out of the way. A fire is no place for a monkey, he said to George. You stay here where it's safe. George felt terrible. George sat on the bench and looked around. Next to him on the ground was a bucket full of balls. George reached in and took one out. It fitted in his hand just right, like the apple he had had for a snack. A little girl was watching George. He tried to give her the ball, but she was too frightened. George took another ball and another. Look, said the boy, that monkey is juggling. The boy took a ball and tossed it to George, but it went too high. George climbed up onto the fire engine to get it. Now George had four balls to juggle. He threw the balls higher and higher. He juggled with his hands, he juggled with his feet. He could do all kinds of tricks. A boy threw another ball to George. George threw a ball back to the boy. The little girl reached down and picked up a ball too. Soon all the children were throwing and catching back and forth. The fire chief came to tell everyone that the fire was out. Just then, a little girl laughed and said, Look, Mummy, a fire monkey. Hey, called the fire chief, what are you doing up there? What a wonderful idea, the little girl's mother said to the fire chief, bringing this brave little monkey to help the children when they are frightened. Oh, the fire chief said, well, er, thank you. 
Before long, the fire engine was back at the fire station, where a familiar voice called, George! It was the man with the yellow hat. This little monkey had quite an adventure, said one of the firefighters. Is everyone all right? asked Mrs Gray. Yes, it was just a small fire, said the fire chief, and George was a big help. Now the field trip was coming to an end, but there was one more treat in store. All the children got to take a ride around the neighbourhood on the shiny red fire engine, and they each got their very own fire helmet, even George. And it was just the right size for a brave little monkey. Thank you everyone for listening. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel.